My everyday job is to defend police officers, but I will give credit where credit is due. And in a change of pace from my typical content, I'm actually going to be defending someone who is definitely not my client, Phoenix Police Chief Jerry Williams. Chief Williams recently gave an interview and was asked about officers on, quote, the Brady list. And in today's video, I'll cover what she said, why she's mostly right, and how the media continues to push a false narrative about what Brady is, particularly if it helps them make police officers look bad. I'm Steve Serbalik. Today's video represents my own opinion and not necessarily the opinions of anyone that I represent. As always, this is a topic summary and not legal advice. So first, here's the context. The local ABC affiliate in Phoenix has run a series of stories that are sensational surrounding the Brady lists. As you know from the video linked above and in the description below, Brady relates to a Supreme Court case holding that certain information needs to be disclosed to the defense in criminal cases. News organizations like to imply that officers who have materials that need to be disclosed are somehow unfit to be police officers. It gets good ratings when the news names and shames officers, implying that they're liars or criminals. When officers can be placed on disclosure lists for things as petty as entering a leave slip incorrectly, more on that one later, or for making an off-color joke. Anyway, with that background in mind, here's the clip that I want to discuss. We sat down with Chief Williams inside the Phoenix Police Headquarters. The department gave us 12 minutes, and this was one of the most basic questions we asked. We found that it was as of last year, about 100, between 100 and 110 active Phoenix officers were on the Brady list. How do you feel about that? I feel that that's a process that's been set up to make sure that the Maricopa County Attorney's Office and the prosecutors can engage in asking people questions during the voir dire process. Uh, but I also know that there are employees who are on that Brady list since from 23 years ago who have literally since turned their lives around. So they made mistakes 23 years ago, yet they're still on the Brady list. And I also know that some of the officers on the Brady list can still testify in court once they go through the actual process. Now, later on, this reporter will destroy Chief Williams on her answer, claiming that she doesn't know what she's talking about, and that voir dire only relates to jury selection. But there is another meaning of voir dire, and that's to discover background information about someone to determine the extent of their participation in a criminal case. Here's what the reporter misses. In the vast majority of cases where an officer continues to work after being placed on a Brady list, the misconduct that caused them to be placed on the list will never actually be told to a jury. Brady requires disclosure to defense counsel, but it is extremely common for prosecutors to successfully argue that the material that placed the officer on the list is not relevant to the officer's testimony, and therefore the Brady list material never comes into evidence in the criminal case. In other words, the officer is allowed to testify without any Brady material ever being discussed in the criminal case itself. Here's an example, and it's based off of a real-life circumstance that could place someone on the Brady list. Let's say that 15 years ago, an officer went on vacation and used sick time instead of vacation time. The department finds out about it and says that this was a violation of policy involving dishonesty. That officer would be placed on the Brady list. But now, if that officer is testifying in a trial 15 years later, it's highly likely that the vacation issue would be deemed irrelevant to the officer's anticipated testimony. If the defense seeks to admit the officer's vacation sick leave information when that officer testifies, the prosecutor would object and the matter would be discussed outside the presence of the jury. When Chief Williams is talking about voir dire, Although she may not be using the right term technically, that's what she's discussing. Our criminal justice system does include a process where evidence about why an officer is on the Brady list is discussed before trial, and oftentimes that evidence isn't heard by the jury. But ABC doesn't say anything about that process. Instead, they implied that the chief didn't understand what Brady involved. This is dishonest. Her answer seems to show that she understood the impact of being on a Brady list better than the reporter did, and further shows that anti-police bias in the media often extends beyond the officers on the streets trying to do their best, 
and can include baseless attacks on police chiefs as well. If you have additional questions about Brady, stick around for my original video explaining Brady, and please feel free to leave your comments or questions below. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there. If you're interested in watching another video about Brady, click up here. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, click down here. And then hit the notification bell to receive messages when new videos are posted. Videos are posted every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time.